Hello everyone and welcome back here to Minecraft in the sunny town of Arcadia. And I hope you're enjoying the view because we are going to be leaving fairly soon, which is one of the reasons why I'm clad all in tin at the moment. And have myself a fire resist potion with me because we are heading into the nether to um, run a couple of errands. You see, hmm, you see, I, I couldn't quite sleep this morning and uh, yeah I'm, I'm going somewhere with this I promise you couldn't quite sleep some I uh, couldn't quite sleep this morning so yeah I got up at about yeah sort of uh, 5 a.m. and went for a bit of a wander I ended up down the uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of a beach near where I live and uh, ended up down there and blazed out against a um, you know, little, little bit of grass near near the beach and just you know watch the world wake up which is an really interesting sight I mean it's not the prettiest beach in the world by a, by a long shot to be honest with you uh, because let me go to the nether yeah uh, because you know um, it's on the same part of the world as a, a a large commercial port I mean that's that's to be honest with you oh that reminds me there's a couple of bits and pieces I forgot let's go back and get them um, yeah, there's a. But um, I've got to be honest with you. Watching a, a a commercial port slowly come to life at the first thing in the morning is quite interesting sight as it is. But uh, the thing is, that stayed with me all the way through the day, and uh, I've it's got this 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 you know the scent of ozone in my nose, and um I, I want to do something a little bit different so this is the reason why we are heading heading off abroad and uh heading into the nether because i want to go to the site of where i'm going to be doing some uh let's grab that stuff uh yeah i'm going to be doing some builds fairly soon i, I want to actually start organizing them. oh good cobble so we'll have some of that as well there we go and so we're going to start setting that up, and then I'm going to come back and later on and do some of the stuff in or out. There we go. All right. Um, going to do some of the stuff that I've been wanting to do around here for a while before we move away and really concentrate on this large build project. But still, we're going to have a little wander, have a little bit of a chat, and see where we go. So yeah. This world's coming together really nicely. I know this is really, really pretty and, and nicely functional. Had some sales in uh, my shops and yeah, it's all coming together. Actually, while I'm here, let's just have a quick look to see if there's any post for me. Looking at that, I don't think so. Nope, the dark green is not up. So nobody wants to talk to me. So let's go back into the nether and get through to where I want to... Uh, do the building. Um, I started earlier on making a really large and really really horrible stone bridge so what we're going to do is we're going to pad that out a little bit as we're going across just make things a little bit safer and then I will show you where I'm going to build what, and uh, we'll have a little chat about what I'm going to build and you guys perhaps you can give me some some of your thoughts, some comments. There's a bit of carpet there. Mm -hmm, very odd. And yeah, just let me know what you think. So coming down here, and um, up here, we need unfortunately to get across that sea of lava, and that's always fun. And you've just heard the reason why that's always fun. Um, I've had a couple of deaths doing this. Uh, one was actually going to the place in the overworld, which was entirely my fault. I, I was not paying attention. A creeper exploded behind me. But uh, there was one here as well, which was really annoying because uh, basically a pigman jumped in front of where I was uh, laying, uh, when I, where I was, I was mining. So it, it decided that you know what we the world really needed was to for me to stab it. And unfortunately, I did. Um, it, 
ended up knocking me off a cliff. And I happened to hit. You know, if I'd landed in there, I'd have been alright, because I've got a fire resist potion on my, on my tool belt. No, that, that was not what was going to happen to me. I had to land in uh, you know, the one rocky bit. And then watch all my worldly possessions fall down either side of this rocky bit into the lava. It was you know, the worst of both worlds. It was really quite impressive, actually. Why am I repeatedly clicking? Let's just back up like this. There we go. Let's get a little bit of a side up here. Little bit of creeper protection. Won't do all of this this time round, but if we can do one side this time and next time I go through I'll do another side and so on. And that's why. Where is that creeper? Let's get some more blocks on the bar. We may have to just run past for now. Where are you? There you are. Hmm, that's going to be awkward. No, nope, you're gone. Okay. That works for me just as well. Let's get back to building this. Yeah, as long as you uh, don't bother me, I won't bother you, and we're going to cross this nice, huge lava sea because yeah, nothing says fun in the Nether than a large, huge lava sea. Oh, that creeper is that uh, not creeper? That ghast is making me nervous. You stay over there, and I'll ignore you. You ignore me. How's that? So yeah. It was, it was a really nice morning as mornings went. It wasn't just nice to go and get some air and nice cool spring morning in the south of England. Uh, yeah, it's always fun watching other people work as well. Always a good thing. It's so much easier than doing it yourself. So that was a, a very pleasant morning. I came home, had a nice breakfast and got on with my day. So everyone was happy. Right, we'll switch to cobblestone now because I've run out of andesite, but I'm almost where I need to go up. And uh, then we're going to put some ladders. And you'll see where we're going to do when we get to the other end. Uh, right. So I've been having some ideas, having some th thoughts about what I want to build. And uh, yeah, I've built a few different bits and pieces. and. One of the problems with the uh, yeah, the redstone machines, for example, is there's a lot of duplication between the two servers. Yeah, um, yeah, mobs bits on one is going to be you know, for fundamentally similar to mobs bit on mobs bits on the other, for example. And yeah, you know, that's a little bit less than exciting. So there we go. Right, that's that side. I won't do the other side now, but what I will do is we need to start getting some ladders up here. And eventually I'm going to want to put a, a little protective bit down the side here as well. So that uh, you know we don't get knocked off. Because that would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh, I do, do loathe the gas. I've got to be honest with you. Right. No! Oh. Ah, almost dropped off there. That would have been fun. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I would ideally like to. No, I tell you what, we're going to do it like this: jump block, jump block, and then we go over here, and then we'll put some ladders up. There we go. Now, now we can get back down again. Stick to torch on the top. So we know where it is, and here we go. Here's a portal I made earlier. Let's pop through that. And out we come here. And this is going to be my little uh, staging area for 
what I'm building and we you can see there we're about you know, about 2,000 blocks out so we're a fair distance out on the side of a very nice sea and long path out there which I shall let's go and have a run down there now yeah, so just pop some torches down here while I'm doing it just light this up Two, one. Oh, it's gonna need a few more. But we've got wood and I've got coal, so I shall make some later on. So, yes, out here, a bit of a run again, is going to be my home away from home. Oh, there we are, nearly there. Alright. So, we are, we're about 200 blocks off of shore here. So we can't see the shore till we move a bit closer. There's land over there, but we can't see it. Basically, we can't see anything in any direction. It's all sea. And my base is going to be down there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop down there and flatten an area out. Might do that this episode. And then above it, I'm going to build a wooden platform. So I'll build that just above the sea level here. And on top of that, I'm going to build look, a mould of uh, the the area I want to build um, underground. Uh, sorry, under the sea. Then I'm going to set fire to the wood. So the wooden platform will burn, the sand will fall to the bottom of the sea, and I will have an outline of what I want to build underground un under the water. And all I need to do is go underwater and lay some glass around it. Go inside remove the sand and we've got an open air space under underwater okay that made sense to you uh, it will come clear over the next few episodes i'm fairly certain so let's head back to base and i'm going to change my um, equipment and then we'll, we'll think what we'll do is we'll pop down to the bottom there and do a little bit of landscaping get things nice and flat so i shall see you guys in just a moment Right, one stop I wanted to make back here before we get going is Quizzy's Juices, which a name has not so stopped sounding quite rude, to be totally honest with you, but there we go. Squizzy's Juices. I want to pick up a few potions and payment option two here, I think is what I've done. I don't have any stone and I want all the sand I can get so I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pay use payment option one for payment option two items so squeezy's getting a bit of a bargain out of here but what I want is oh yes I'm going to want some night vision which is payment option two and he's also out of them uh, we'll get some payment option three ones <laughs> and um Want some water breathing? I think I have a couple of those as well. And in fact, to be totally honest, let's have a third. So that's three payment option twos and two payment option threes. Let's just check this out again. What is payment option three? I can't remember. Is dark oak jungle cat cocoa stack of cocoa beans? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I don't have any of that stuff, so I'm going to basically two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So basically, I'm sorry, Squiz, if this is going to screw up your calculations, but I'm going to give you payment option one for payment option two and three stuff because I've got lots of iron, but very little of everything else. So. I hope that works out all right with you. If not, we'll have a chat later on. In fact, we'll probably have a chat about it anyway. But there we go. Those are the potions I need. So let's get back over to um, the island. I'll see you over there. Okay, here we are back again. And 
let's get ourselves a little bit reorganized so I'll have a potion of water breathing on the bar and I will have a potion of night vision on the bar I'm not sure how much the night vision is going to help us but let's do it anyway yes we might as well get our food up and take the water breathing take the night vision and Geronimo oh, that actually does help a lot okay so I want to basically I want to create a 50 by 50 block and yeah, yeah that's that's where we come down so this is going to be our base so we'll dig out that one there and let's put something that we so we can tell the difference so there you go, piece of uh, of that, that's uh, gonna be gonna be hard to confuse, isn't it? So uh, let's start digging out here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, so that will be our, our next corner, so 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 33, 34, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. There we go, that's that one. And so we go the same in this direction. So 1, 2, 3. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, or 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, eight, nine, fifty, fifty-one. Little bit block like there. So that's that corner. And then finally, we want to go in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 that's that running out so let's take the other other night vision potion that's a bit of a help really isn't it 14 15 16 17 18 18 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Um, I want that. 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Ooh, 45. Yep, okay, thinking about that, let's change the blocks we're using. Looks like we've got a nice underground area there, so that's something to explore. 35, 36, 37, 38, probably lost count here. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So that should be there, but I think I lost count, but yep, yeah, look at that, we're well out. Okay, so. Uh, let's just take that one up and follow this line to there. So that's that corner. And actually, one, two, three, 
There we go. So there we go. That's a 51 by 51 square. That's what I want to level out. And I'm going to do that off camera between episodes because that's going to be really quite boring, I should imagine. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm probably going to become Squizzy's favourite customer. In fact, I'm probably going to end up spending so much on water breathing potions, I'm going to end up brewing them myself. Which means fishing, which I don't particularly like doing because it's boring. But still, never mind. So we get this all nice and level. And then we know that we can start building something this square in size and know it's all going to fall nice and easily, evenly on the ground. Which is exactly what we want. So switch to cobble. Uh, eventually once I've got the, uh, the shell in place I'll probably want to replace this all with earth. But uh, cobble and gravel will do very nicely at the moment. That goes... The wall that goes the night vision. We still got a couple of minutes left of the water breathing. What have I got there? I've got a water bottle. That's not going to help me. Right, I've still got plenty of water breathing, and yes, we can still see it. it's a bit dim, but then so am I. Never mind. Okay, so fill in the gaps there. Yep. Yeah. Gonna have to get some aqua affinity gear, I think, and perhaps some Death Strider stuff. So that's another bit of time I'm gonna want to spend in um, in the uh, the X Palm, gearing up, getting some nice equipment, just getting organised for this because this is gonna be quite a big undertaking. I'm fully expecting this to take me several months to do, but I think the final result of it is gonna be well worth seeing. So. I'm going to call it quits there for the now, and uh, if this is a bit short, I might do a, a little bit of a, a dingy montage with some music. But uh, if but I think this is going to be important, where I stop talking. So until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been my undersea paradise, or at least it will be one day. Thank you and good night.